fired with only 20k in savings, but an 8k a month mortgage. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I hope you're all having a relaxing weekend. Grab your hashtag not sponsored cheap water. It's bloody hot in Queensland or humid right now. And I want to have a look at the, this Reddit post, which has just been put up a few hours ago, about someone who, a friend, who got, oh, not a friend of mine, but a friend of the OP, who has been just fired from their job. But wait till you see what their mortgage is, an 8K a month mortgage. So let's uh, bring it up while I have a little drink first. So let's, let's read through this, everyone. So best thing to do, if laid off with a mortgage. Asking for a friend who was recently laid off, but what would you do if you just got laid off and you have about 20 grand in savings and an eight grand a month mortgage? So he's barely, he's got two and a half months of mortgage payments in savings. Now with that that amount, that's, an, that's huge mortgage. That is a huge mortgage. You know what? I'm going to bring up the... Commonwealth Bank. We'll do this. Uh, Combank mortgage calculator. Where we do that? There we go. Repayment calculator or calculator? Where will we do that? Let's see this. What's eight grand going to get you at the moment? Um, repayment calculator. No, I don't want to book an appointment. So let's say 30 years P&I. What would it be? 600,000? How much is that going to be? No. So, oh, shit. 1.2 million? Ooh. So about 1.2 million there, guys, if not more. 1.3? No, 1.25. Oh, 27. There you go. 1.27 if they're on a 30-year mortgage. With the wealth package, would save you a little bit. So you're talking a million buck mortgage here. But look at the salary. How best to navigate this situation? Is there any way to delay paying the mortgage for the month with the current cost of living crisis? Or for one month? Also assume they have significant other that works and earns about 100K salary. So, okay, so this is obviously the primary breadwinner that's gotten fired. If they've only got a 100 grand salary on an 8K mortgage, they're going to they're gonna struggle. Boy, I mean, 8000 a month, but we're talking, no, 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 no. It's okay, Combank. I don't want to chat. I don't want to pay $2.8 million for a $1.2 million loan. No, that, that's fine. Oh, let, let's check this. Uh, what are the repayments? Let's change repayments to just fortnightly. Doesn't make that much difference, does it? Monthly. So fortnightly saves you four grand. What about weekly? Oh yeah, saves you six grand over the life of the loan. Not not that much really, but still. Anyway, anyway, back to this. So let's see some of the advice here. What would you give this person? I mean, oh, you'd have to talk to your bank to see what deals you could give. I mean. This is a significant amount of money here. Um, you're going to have to bleed some of your savings and cut your costs to the bare bones and sell whatever you can to raise money. You're cutting it a bit close if that's all what your emergency fund is. You need. This is why Ramsey tells everyone to have six months. That includes the mortgage payments, all of your costs. Because now you're going to be forced to taking a job or another opportunity you may not want to. And it's going to put strain on your relationship. So let's have a look here. Call the bank, explain he's been laid off. That's sexist. It may, may be the wife that's earning the big money. Get on a hardship agreement. Bank will likely suspend payments for three months to start. Bank will generally always work with a borrower who can't make payments because having to go through foreclosure is not good look and a bit of a hassle. Best to get in front of it and call the bank as soon as possible. That's the advice I've been given too. This... Don't try and struggle for months before calling them. They want to work with you because it's more profitable for them. Thanks. We'll tell them to look into this. See, um, there is regulation for hardship. Uh, also, 
The bank makes more money overall from these arrangements, so it's not a bad deal for them either. Yeah, they, they go, oh, maybe oh, pause your payments. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just put it on the end of the loan, you know. So instead of paying 200 and... <laughs> can we increase the terms? You know what, we'll give you another another year. There you go. So look at that. We go from 30 years, we're 2.8 million, to 31 years. The bank's being nice. You know, they're making another 100 grand. Or roundabout. 30... Okay, 280. They're making another 70 grand. 70 grand for being your friend. Can you do 30.5 years? No, you can't. So, yeah, it's in their interest. <laughs> Pun not intended. To keep it going, eh? Let's see what else. Damn, an 8K per month mortgage repayment. I would have thought that emergency funds will be bigger. Yes. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, you'd think so, but life can I can I can see how they can get in this situation. Life just gets away with you. You got the kids needing this, that and the other. You, you know, the wife wants the nice house, she's working on her career. It, it's life just happens. Even so earning 100 grand, that alone won't be enough to service the loan. Does he have income insurance? Possibly uh, possible to get a uh, job quickly? Talk to the bank. Uh, that's what I was thinking. 8K 100 per 100 grand is over leveraged. That's the misses. That's the misses. 100 grand salary is 6.2K a month after tax. Literally, un literally unserviceable. Now, one concern is uh, the, let's just say the psychological impact of going from being the primary breadwinner to not being it. So the, I'm, I mean, we're making a lot of sexist and gendered assumptions here uh, on this. We don't have the information, but the majority of the viewers here of the channel are male, uh, and you know, a lot of the women that are of the channel are professionals too. So, you know, generally, it would not be statistically incorrect to assume that this is a husband-wife relationship where the husband is the primary breadwinner, earning the significant money. And all of a sudden, if the husband goes from being the primary breadwinner to being unemployed, that can be a real hit to the ego there. So you've got to watch that. And it can cause uh, issues in the relationship. I mean, but, I mean, it could go either way, but still. Uh, redundancy cover, but it isn't common and very expensive. I'd want 100K in the emergency fund, but maybe they're paying more off their mortgage. Or if they're paying more off, they can drop it down. Now, what else can we see? You can't have emergency funds when your mortgage is literally consuming your pay packet. 8K, ouch. Got to live in that leafy suburb, I suppose. Or somewhere that isn't two hours from work. I mean, this is... What do we see? You know, $1.2 million mortgage, guys. Let's... Um, let's have I programmed those things? No, I haven't. Hang on, let me... look at. Let's look at Sydney property prices. Sydney asking prices from SQM. Can we overlay that there? There we go. And if we have a look here, you can see, guys, I'm just looking at my screen. Where's the full screen going to appear? Oh, that didn't work. Sorry. We can see here... Hang on. <laughs> I'm having to look close to my screen to see it. We can see here 1.8 million now. A three-bed house, 1.6 in Sydney, 1.4 combined for apartments. So, yeah, I mean, it is Sydney, guys. We do know it's it's going nuts and how expensive it is. So let's jump back here. Uh, I'd probably start looking for a new job. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to. Yes, though, I mean, in the interim as you're looking for one. Unfortunately, my mate's work is very niche industry, so finding a job will take a bit longer. Ah, that's the problem. I mean, what's the longest you've ever been, been without at work, guys? It depends on your skill level. I mean, if, he's, if this gentleman is earning big money, cut every unnecessary expense, get any job you can and continue looking pretty simple. 2K a week mortgage is some dicey shit. Yeah, that's... That's a lot of money to be blown on a mortgage, isn't it? Nothing abnormal for Sydney in a large part of Melbourne, sadly. While that may be, people need to learn to live within their means or have a significant safety buffer. Yeah, the failure here is, the failure here, OP's friend does not have enough of an emergency fund. 
you shouldn't have enough of an emergency fund. You shouldn't be turning to a Reddit for advice in this situation. You should have already watched hundreds of hours of Dave Ramsey, you know, making fun of people or t- people who successfully turn their lives around. You need to have a buffer. M- maybe that <laughs> here's a controversial here's a controversial take to clip out. Maybe we need to tie people's ability to let's say have a a, a vote or even public office to proven proof that they can have a. Uh, emergency fund for an extended period of time. It doesn't. Even ha- it just. You know, we're not talking a lot of money. Just enough relative to your income. What do you reckon? Um, I'm assuming without OP saying so that the repayments were a lot more manageable at two x interest rates, and they've come off a fixed rate, or have been caught out by the rapid rise, which may have eaten into their buffer. I don't disagree with you. But there will be tens of thousands of others in the same boat. Yes, that's right, I believe. So this could be could be a couple that bought during the mania period, that listened to the media when our Reserve Bank Governor, or misquoting our Reserve Bank Governor, that rates wouldn't increase until 2024. And as we all know, the cash rate has skyrocketed compared to 0.1%. They may have believed that the 0.1% was here to stay until 2024. Now, those of you that are regulars of the channel that have been watching for years, you probably knew and have been paying attention enough to just the economy and to interest rates and to historical precedent that you, like me, saw the 0.1 as a once-in-a-lifetime, utter, batshit, crazy, bullshit event. (sighs) They didn't plan for the worst-case scenario. That's the problem here. But, but Australian banks are not American. Surely they wouldn't offer a million-dollar loan to just anyone. But both partners on 100K. How much was he on? Here we go. Okay. Friend was previously on $230,000. So that's good coin. Um, what's that after tax? You know, ATO after or tax calculator? Tax calculator. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see. Uh, tax withheld calculator, why not? We'll just, just make all the assumptions. We'll say they're an employee. Okay, what, what's this? Pay his name, lol. Um, what? Pay received payments, we, we'll say monthly on 230k. Pay, no, I want... Oh. Okay, hang on. 230 divided by 12... Okay, 19 grand a month, so not bad coin. We'll say that's the gross. Um, yep, yep, yep. Um, calculate. So the net pay is 12 grand a month based on this. The lull. So if the net pay is 12 grand a month after taxes, they're paying eight grand a month on the mortgage. It's still four grand in the pocket now. So yeah, I'd figure a much higher salary. If he was on two thirty and the partner was on hundred k, how do they have such little savings? Yes, they need to cut spending big time. That's the problem. Oh, here we go. Here's here's the a bit more from OP. They just bought a place last year, and most of their savings going towards the deposit. They both entered the workforce four to five years ago, so no much, not much savings accumulated. They're in their mid to late 20s. 20K will be liquid cash. I think my mate has roughly another 30 grand in shares that he would realize to help extend the runway. Mid to late 20s and got mortgaged to the eyeballs. Yeah, ah, shit. Shit. Here's the problem. They don't know bad times. Mid to late 20s. They, don't, they weren't even born when we had the last recession. Okay, so I may be a grumpy, bloody, geriatric millennial. I remember the last recession as a kid. My father had a construction business. We suddenly went from so much work, going holidays three times a year to Noosa, and I think even went overseas a few times. 
to it being dead, being dead. And I remember that. And years later now, as I've started my business, and I remember talking to engineers saying, oh, it'll be good, it'll be good. It goes up and down, it's cyclical, it's cyclical. Oh, so they, they, too much house, too much house. That's the problem. So, eight grand a month mortgage. Presumably, this friend was making pretty serious money. First step is to talk to the bank about options. They will likely be willing to go interest only on the mortgage or maybe even take a holiday on payments for a couple of months. The partner makes 100K, which isn't going to cover the mortgage, but the bank will likely accept part payment. But the key is to tell them in advance. I would say your friend has to get realistic about their options in terms of getting another job at the same pay level. If not, they have to start looking at selling the house. Thanks, mate. Looks like the best bet is talking to the bank and finding side jobs in an interim. And your friend was previously on 230K. I mean, you want to be on... You want to be on decent money. You know, that's... Yeah, what's the average? Let's uh, check out ABS, guys. What's the average Australian pay? Okay, 180... 1,800. What's that yearly? We'll just times that by 52, eh? Times it by 52. Yeah, you got 98 grand. So 100 grand for the full-time average... Uh, at full-time adult weekly earnings. So 98 grand. So this guy was, you know, financial giga chatting it up at 2.3 times that 100 grand. So he was, uh, you know, doing well. Doing well. Wife's smack bang on average. And he was punching above his weight, particularly so young. Good on him. And the problem is, though, life gets hard when interest rates go up. I've read some amazing things on this sub. This have, would have to be the best of all time. 8K a month mortgage with only 20K worth of savings. I'm sorry, but this is madness. Yeah. Damn, 8K a month mortgage is about a $1.25 million loan. I assume your friend was in a pretty high paying job. Best way to navigate is just call the banks. Yep. Believe that mass checks out or is pretty close. Yeah. So guys, I think the best advice here that we're getting is to call the bank really. Let's have a bit of a chat about this, about some of the takeaways. So what's the lesson here? You've got to build a buffer. But the problem is, to get into the housing market, people have had to throw the buffer at the house. Same thing happened to us when we were buying. We had money set aside for repairs and renovations to the house, and the bank just took it as part of the deposit. Awesome. 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 Threw all our plans out the window. Really kind of screwed us. And, but not to this insane extent. I mean, they just, he, he needs to find another job. They need to cut costs. And they're getting all the right advice here. I think it's just looking to get other opportunities. Just maybe buy less house, get less debt. Get a crappy unit as you're starting out. I don't know. What do you think, guys? What would you do in this situation? Anyway, take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.